So in the Dragon Ball Super Manga, the Galactic Patrol Prisoner arc is starting and in the next chapter of the Dragon Ball Super Manga, we will get more of that arc, you know, unveiled to us and, you know, the big two, you know, selling points are essentially the involvement of the Galactic Patrol and Jarko and that they need the Supreme, uh, you know, the Grand Supreme Kai out of Boo, so they're going to tackle two different sort of uh, aspects of Universe 7, which are the Kaioshin and the Galactic Patrol. Both haven't really been explored. I mean, in the Majin Buu arc, they did explore the Kai's a bit, and, you know, more recently in the Galactic Patrol trilogy with Jarko Jia and Sachiman Go, the uh, collection of manga that came out, you know, written by Akira Toriyama that did explore the Galactic Patrol and also, you know, Jaco in the Galactic Patrol trilogy that did explore the uh, Galactic Patrol, but, you know, in Dragon Ball Super it hasn't really been explored all that much. I mean, the Galactic Patrol and, you know, the Kaioshin and Boo and stuff like that, you know, it hasn't really been explored, like, their origin and their backstory. It's been explained in interviews, like Toriyama interviews and, sub, uh, you know, and supplementary manga. But it hasn't really explo been explored in Dragon Ball itself, so that's going to be very exciting. And I'm kind of glad that they're putting Broly on a bit of a back burner. Yes, he is still alive. Spoilers for those who haven't, uh, well, seen the movie at all, like, read for spoilers. Um, you know, Broly is still alive, and he's out there. And, uh, yeah, so I'm glad that they're doing a bit of a back burner with that. And, you know, they can introduce Broly at any time. He's been introduced into the Dragon Ball Super continuity. So I'm glad they're having a bit of a back burner with him because it would be kind of redundant if we meet Broly again. So I'm glad there's something in between, you know, this Galactic Patrol Prisoner arc. I'm very curious. And about the Goat's creature, I'm very curious of him as well. So this is shaping up that, you know, this could be the best arc in Dragon Ball Super for a few reasons. I mean, they are exploring two concepts that haven't been really truly explored yet, and also, I'm a little apprehensive for them to do another story yet again in Universe 7, but if they have to do it, please explore unexplored concepts. I mean, we've explored the science to death, but we haven't really explored the Galactic Patrol. We've only heard about the Galactic Patrol. And we, you know, we've met the Galactic King, but that's about it. Um, and also Jarko and whatnot. But this is the first time we're actually exploring the Galactic Patrol and Dragon Ball Super. Like, really, like, explore. And also the Kaioshin, uh, you know, that could also get explored with the Grand Supreme Kai. And, uh, yeah, so I'm very excited. Um, you know, they are doing unexplored concepts in this new arc that belonged to Universe 7, because I'm apprehensive if they do anything, you know, like, in Universe 7, because it's like, why can't they utilize the other universes? And I feel like this is going to be more of a grander story. I mean, like, I, you know, I'm more grander in terms of, like, this sort of, um, not the spectacle, but in terms of, like, the wider universe, uh, you know, of Universe 7. Like, the Dragon Ball Super Broly film is very much tied to the Science and Freezer, which is cool, which I like that sort of, um, you know, compact story, but I'm glad they're sort of freeing the reins a little bit and exploring these concepts, like the Galactic Patrol and the, you know, Supreme Kai, Kaioshins, and, you know, the mythology around that. I'm very excited for this. And also, Jarko being in it is going to be fantastic. And also, there is a character called G of the Galactic Patrolman, and he shows up in his own manga, uh, G of the Galactic Patrolman. You know, I think it's just called Gia, uh, the manga. And basically, it has all of these adventures with him. And he's in Dragon Ball Super Chapter, Epi you know, uh, 43 which is interesting, so I'm, you know, I'm glad that other Toriyama manga characters are coming into this arc, you know, he is a Galactic Patrolman, but still, I'm glad that other manga characters are coming into this arc, so I'm wondering if, and he's from the Galactic Patrol trilogy, if you didn't know, there's Sachiman Go, and then there's G of the Galactic Patrolman, and then there's Jarko, but yeah, I'm just, um, very stoked for new characters to come in, and I'm looking forward to them sort of exploring these unexplored concepts, and I think it will be a lot of fun. 
I doubt this story will take itself too, too seriously. I mean, it has Jarko after all. And I'm glad that we're getting introduced to new characters that we haven't really seen yet before. You know, this GOAT character, this prisoner is going to be very interesting. And this is all sort of like this mystery of like who this guy is and why he has like involvement with the Grand Supreme Kai. It's all very interesting and it's going to lead into an interesting mystery. So it's going to lead into an interesting mystery. It has new characters uh, within Universe 7, which is always cool. And even though this story is in Universe 7, um, you know, and that's kind of dull, they are making the most of it by exploring, un you know, unexplored concepts. Um, well, relatively unexplored. I mean, you know, the uh, Kaioshin have been explored, kind of, but that's either here or there. But, um, yeah, I mean, it'll be more explored, you know, in this arc. So, yeah, what do you think about this Dragon Ball Super new arc? Um, you know, at the moment it's manga exclusive, but I wouldn't be surprised if it will be anime, um, you know, in the anime as well. And also Toriyama is in, he is involved, which excites me because I'm, you know, I mean, it's always great having Toriyama involved, even though there are debates about, like, should Toriyama be in, uh, in you know, be involved with Dragon Ball Super's production, uh, that's a story for another time, that's a video for another time, but, you know, will this be the, you know, best Dragon Ball Super arc? I mean, the way it's headed, you know, this mystery, and, you know, it, it including new stuff, I mean, possibly, man, like, I, I'm very geared up towards this arc when I saw the premise, and, you know, in the manga chapter, I was like, oh, shit, this is, you know, this could lead into something really cool and really interesting. But we'll see how it plays out. I mean, it could just be a random filler arc. But I am going to um, have my, you know, fingers crossed. And let's hope for the best. Let's hope for this to be the best arc. And it could be... It, it could potentially be the best arc. I mean, it really could. Um, you know, it's gearing itself up to be the best arc. Not in terms of, like, scale. But in terms of just, like, quality and telling a decent story. I mean, the Battle of God's arc, that was just a retelling of a Battle of Gods movie. The Resurrection F arc was just, you know, Resurrection F just has no story whatsoever, and it only, uh, you know, has a purpose when you bring into the universe, you know, when you bring the universe survival arc into, uh, you know, account. But anyway, then the Universe 6 arc, that was just a tournament, it wasn't really, it was okay. Um, the Future Trunks arc, that was the best attempt at telling an actual story. Um, and, you know, I, I think the Future Trunks arc is the best arc in terms of narrative. Um, obviously the Universe Survival arc in terms of fights, but the Universe Survival arc is pretty bare bones in terms of story. But, yeah, the Future Trunks arc, that was the best arc in terms of, like, telling an actual story and telling something that matters. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it's okay. Um, it's probably the best arc in Super, but I, th I feel like, um... This arc, I have a good feeling that the Galactic Patrol Prisoner arc could be the best arc in this series. I mean, I just have that hunch. I could be absolutely wrong, and it really doesn't matter, and then we just go back to, like, Broly joining the cast and all of that stuff, and we continue the Broly storyline. This could very well be filler, and this, uh, you know, prediction that it's going to be the best arc, that could all be shattered. Um, you know, this could be just a sort of, like, I don't like using the word filler, especially in the Dragon Ball Super era, but, I, for lack of a better term, filler. <laughs> like, this could be just, like, sort of a filler arc, just to pad over time, but I doubt it. I feel like this could have, you know, a bit of weight on the story, and I hope it just has purpose. I mean, the, uh, the Resurrection F arc, for the longest time, you know, until the Universe Survival arc, didn't have much purpose. I mean... We got Super Saiyan Blue, but that's essentially it, until the Universe Survival Arc, until Freezer comes into play. And, you know, with his golden form and whatnot, but, um, yeah, I do hope this has a, a purpose and it has ramifications, uh, for, you know, the future of Dragon Ball Super. I really do hope so, and I hope we get explored, you know, I hope we, uh, get, you know, Gia, uh, as a character explored, and, you know, more Galactic Patrol, mem uh, Galactic Patrol members, because those, those guys fascinate me, and how they war with Frieza's army. That's a fascinating tale, and I feel like there's a lot of potential for uh, other spin-offs as well with the Galactic Patrol. It, like, the Galactic Patrol trilogy 
doesn't need to be a trilogy, because we can go and have adventures with other Galactic Patrol members. I mean, I know Jarko has his own manga, you know, Jarko of the Galactic Patrol, and the third part of the Galactic Patrol trilogy, but it could be like, you know, we could spend time with other Galactic Patrolmen with, um, you know, Galactic Patrolmen with uh, different characteristics as Jarko, and we could go on their adventures as little Dragon Ball spin-offs. I, th I feel like that would be quite cool after this, uh, after this arc takes shape. I mean, they're not really utilizing the Dragon Room and having a lot of spin-offs, so, I mean, that it would be cool. But anyway, guys, I feel like that's going to do it for me. I feel like there's a good chance that the universe, uh, not the universe of Avalok, um, the Galactic Patrol pr uh, Prisoner arc could be one of the best arcs in Dragon Ball Super, if not the best arc in terms of telling a story, uh, providing a good mystery, ex expanding the lore, uh, giving us new characters to play with in the future, uh, putting Broly in the back burner so it's not redundant, we don't have Broly, Broly, Broly. We have Dragon Ball Super Broly, then we have this new arc, and then we could go back to Broly. It's good to break it up. And uh, I hope I'm, you know, I hope I'm not wrong, and I hope it doesn't become another filler arc. But uh, that's either here or there. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for new content. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.